these are my kind of people. I mean, they're so friendly. Look. Oh, she was my favorite ghoul, girl. Those faces don't only appeal to Peter Lorre, they seem to appeal to everybody. Because of a request by James Nichols of San Ardo, California, to check out Ed Edmonds, we're going to bring you the kind of faces you dream about, if you happen to be a werewolf. You know, Peter, it's annoying nowadays when you have an appointment at the barber. There are always so many ahead of you. Boris, this is not a barber shop. It isn't? Then who's that under the dryer? This is Ed Edmonds' place, Distortions Unlimited. He and his wife, Judy, they, they make horror masks here. Oh, really? I, I thought those were bats hanging from the ceiling. Look, it's Uncle Henry. No, 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 Boris, that's Auntie M. Now there's a beauty. That looks like my first wife. She must be getting a face left. Oh, it must be lunchtime. Look, soup's on. No, no, he's pouring the liquid latex into the mold. Oh, it looked a little moldy for soup. That's what happens when you lose your head at a meeting. They must have group insurance here. Most of the ideas are just a matter of sitting down and thinking about what would really be strange, what would be something that you wouldn't see in real life. It doesn't have to be from a nightmare or, or uh, seeing some horrible accident or something. It's just a matter of what would be scary to you, scary to you, scary to you, scary to you. It looked like our last family reunion. <laughs> <laughs>